I think that that's true generally of the late, the late paintings that we chose, that they seem to be prophetic. They seem, there they are, painted in the mid-80s, but 25 years, 30 years later, they seem to be, to have come alive in an extraordinary way and be about this time and to be about Iraq and Afghanistan and China and Barack Obama and they seem to be speaking about the time in which we live. And I think that's a sign of a great artist, not only that the art travels well to the time that you're in, but actually seems to get more and more real and more and more alive and more, much more relevant. And um, don't you think that that's a characteristic of Andy? Yeah, he takes very everyday uh, images of, of everyday um, things, of, um, such as the dollar sign, and treats it somehow in the way he treats it in, the, in this iconic way it, it transcends the, the time in which it was done Right. Yes. another interesting thing about the dollar sign of course is earlier on he'd actually um, done whole dollar bills um, uh, which he had to draw he couldn't actually ph photograph them and um, because that would be almost tantamount to sort of um, counterfeit. And so here, he's actually drawn it himself as well. So whereas in the, in the Marilyn, and this is based on um, photographic image of, of Marilyn Monroe, here he's drawn it, but then photographed it. So he creates a screen print from a photograph, but it's actually based on his own drawing. Um, and so that's very interesting. If you go back to the Marilyn, which was done in the early 1960s, the really interesting thing is he's basing the paintings at this time on photographs of iconic figures, such as Marilyn Monroe. But only a few years earlier, when he was working um, for the advertising industry and he was making all his illustrations by drawing. So he wasn't photographing works, he was actually drawing. Then in the early 60s when he wanted to become um, a fine artist, he, he, he turns to using photography and that's quite a sort of leap in a way. One of the reasons I think for him going back to do more painterly work and sort of drawing, as such as the dollar sign represents, uh, was probably coming into contact with young artists such as Basquiat, Keith Haring, some of the graffiti artists, uh, where sort of painting was very much back in fashion and very expressive forms of painting. And I think. Um, more have found this very energizing coming in contact with these young artists. Did you, did you know Basquiat? Uh, yes, and um, I, uh, I used to see him around a lot and went to his studio a few times and said, would he like to have a show in London? And um, he said, yes, he'd like to have a show, but only of uh, fridge doors. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, and you said no. That's right. Uh, I thought, you know, that's not a great idea, fridge doors. Of course, I wish now that I'd done it. Um, and you saw him around the whole time. And Andy really loved him. I mean, he adored him. Um, and I, Andy liked people who took risks. 
Maybe he liked people who took risks that he didn't have to take himself.